that you might be fruitful in every good work. Not that there might be a little encouragement in this or that and maybe get a few more kids in your Sunday school class, but that everything you touch would have the, the heavenly Midas touch to it. Everything you did would have the blessing of God upon it and that you would be fruitful in every good work. I was packing my bag. I was out in, in Alberta. I was packing my bag ready to leave for the airport. An old man, he came in and he sat down. He didn't say anything. I, I know him. He never introduced himself or said, hi, Jabe, or anything. He just sat down in the chair and he began to tell me the story. And when he was finished the story, he got up and he walked out of the room. He said, when I was a boy, my father one night said to my mother, I've got to take a pot of jam and a loaf of bread down to the McMullins, the people in the assembly. She said, it's 10 o'clock at night. Take it in the morning. So they got into bed, but he couldn't sleep. He said, I'm going to have to do it tonight. And he got back up and he got dressed. And he took the pot of jam and the loaf of bread. And he went down to the McMullins and he knocked at the door. And all the lights were on in the house. And they opened the door and they were all standing there dressed. And he said, well, brother, I'm sorry to be here so late, but I just felt the Lord wanted me to bring you this loaf of bread and a little bit of jam. The man turned around and looked at the clock up over the mantel. He said, three minutes to midnight. Give us this day our daily bread. He said, brother, we have nothing to eat in the house. You can never do a good thing too soon because you never know how soon it'll be too late. The devil's word is tomorrow, isn't it? God's word is today. That you might be fruitful in every good work. Mm -hmm.